finish this now. Not even worth my time. I'll show you the beauty of my Alright! It's over, right? I'll show you the beauty of my spirit! I did a good job. I'll show you the beauty of my dear Well then, let's move on. We can do this! Armor Crusher! I won't improve by fighting weaklings. I'll finish this quickly. I'll cut down anyone in my way. We can do this. Victory is ours. I'll finish this quickly. Be proud. You made me unleash my full power. I'll show you the beauty of my spirit. Victory is ours. I'll finish this now. They were nothing. I'll finish this now. 
down anyone in my way! I'll show you the beauty of my spirit! First mate, there's trouble. We got an emergency message from Port Zexen. A ship carrying dozens of exorcists just set sail for Titania. They have orders to eliminate the Lord of Calamity. Yeesh. Looks like the hideout's not so hidden after all. It wasn't me! I didn't tell them anything! Then you won't have any problem helping us. We're rescuing the Therians. Of course not. I won't let them take Kamoana again. Wait. That information came from the Bloodwings? No, from a peddler I often do business with. Exorcist operations like this are usually kept a closely guarded secret. And you're telling me a regular civilian knew about it? You think it's a trap? Trap or not, we don't have a choice. Our enemies know the odds. If they've set a trap for us, that means they think they can win. The Armatus! Yes, they're likely to throw armatized exorcists at us. Even your demon arm can't eat Armati. You might just have a real problem on your hands. If I can't devour them, then we kill them. Yeah, if we overcome the Armati, we can win. Like with Oscar. But his Armatus was still incomplete. From what I could gather, if the Exorcist remains Armatized for too long, their Moloch will turn into a dragon. But to prevent these dragons from running wild, Melchior embedded a self-destruction art in both Exorcist and Moloch. To think they would go that far. Uh, this is all just conjecture, of course, but we should prepare ourselves as best we can. Just make sure not to leave any regrets behind. Take a look at this. Well, well. Now here's a fine haul. Eye of newt and mushroom spore, tender parts of prickle bore! Show them how Ifreed's crew can sail! I really can't fathom what the Abbey is doing. Even if they did let us know on purpose, why would they leave us be? I would have expected them to press the attack against us. Even if their aim is to capture our allies as some kind of leverage against us, their plan is too many holes. What if we decided to abandon Kamoana and the others? They'd be no closer to capturing Velvet. Do they actually want the Therians back? What are you saying? Why did Melchior place that illusion on a ball to lure Velvet in? That was so he could capture her, right? And in case he couldn't capture her, he could kill her and create another Therian. Okay, so if securing the Therians is so important to them, why would they throw Orthrus to the winds? That's a puzzler. Melchior was right there, and he didn't try to protect Orthrus at all. I don't understand it. It's like they're toying with us. 
I don't see any point in that either. They must know we won't give up. Actually, that could be close to the mark. What if they're just trying to rattle us? Everything would fit, including the assault on Titania. Whatever's going on, I don't think we're going to like it. So, Eleanor, about that Armatus Oscar used, was that something the Abbey has been working on for a while? I was never involved in weapons development or anything like that, but I did hear of a secret research division. Word was that they were deciphering ancient scrolls and books coming from every corner of the Empire. Apparently, Teresa knew something of the ancient tongue, and they called her in to help from time to time. Did she work on Enominat's book? I was never privy to any of the details, but I think the books were mostly about controlling Malachim. Well, that Siegfried thing of Zavid's is some kind of power control device, right? The Abbey probably learned about Siegfried in one of those books, and realized they could use it to armatize. So Melchior tracked Zavid down and stole the formula. Makes sense. It was all so they could create the Armatus. Will Eifried be alright? Complete or not, they've seen that they can use the Armatus in battle. They have no use for him anymore. <sighs> Let's get back to Titania, Aizen. I'll help out with the ship. Right. Let's set sail.
Urgent message! Let him know that they'll be arriving at Titania within a few hours! So it was you all along, Bien Fu.
I'm surprised I didn't sense it. There is a Gesh on you, interfering with our pact. <laughs> well played, Melchior. Impressive. That old man must have planned all of this from the very moment you escaped me. Even my imprisonment in Titania and my encounter with Velvet. All calculated down to the minute. Huh, nice. F forgive me, Miss Mogilu. There was no way I could fight against Lord Melchior's arts. Uh, I don't care. I don't care about anything. And I don't care that I don't. Listening. We heard it all. Ugh, boring. Fine then, do with us what you will. It's not like I trusted you to begin with. Spy or no spy, this was inevitable. Besides, you're not sorry. Make yourself useful and fight for us. <sighs> you're good at this cruelty that's also compassion thing, aren't you? I just don't have the time to deal with you two. After this whole business is over with, I'll devour you, if that's what you want. Hey, Velvet. Tell me, what does it feel like to... hate? Does it torment you? Is it agony? Does the searing fire of your hatred empower you to feel? Does it give your life meaning where there was none? <laughs> Land ho! Titania! There's an Abbey ship in the front docks! Take us around back! If you want your answer, fight by my side. You'll see it the very moment I kill Artorius. In the face of doom, still the crow caws defiantly. <laughs> you really know how to vex me. So, you're using the Forbidden Arts. This has to be Melchior's doing. <laughs> Stop! I'm the one you want! The Lord of Calamity. That again? What a melodramatic name. It's what you're called by the scores of citizens whose lives you've ruined. Face the enormity of your sins. What idiocy. Huh! We'll carve the weight of your sin from your flesh! We are the wings of the Divine Will! <laughs> the Armatus! As expected. Thank <laughs> you. 
themselves just as I expected the Abbey they know exactly what they're doing grimoire where are the Therians couldn't tell you they came out of nowhere and before I knew it we were all split up how's the book nearly done but I'm still working on the critical passages at the very end all of you, get on board the Von Eltia. I'll find the Therians. Oh? You really think we can make it past a horde of armatized exorcists? Stay behind. I don't care. <sighs> don't touch that! You don't have to do this alone. We're all in this together. And I promise. I promise I'll protect you, Velvet. You'll protect me. Long ago, Luffy said the same thing. But that sort of idealistic drivel will kill you. Make your worthless promises. They won't change reality. Look what happened to Lothi. Dead. Murdered. And I... I couldn't protect him either. In the end, no matter how much he cared for me, my only brother, he... His life torn away from him. Oh, it must have hurt. Velvet. You worry about yourself, Luffy said. That's an order. An... an order? We have to keep Inominat out of the picture, so that I can kill Artorias. Let's go! We'll push the enemy back and keep an eye out for the Therians. Uh. I know this isn't the best time, but I have something to say. Please forgive me. I've been a spy for Lord Melchior. You were the one telling the Abbey about us? Yes! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Melchior is a clever one, isn't he? Planting his spy right next to Magilu. After all, a forest is the best place to hide a tree. Melchior used his arts to place orders on Bienfu that overrode Magilu's pact. <sighs> that son of a dog. <laughs> Please don't hate me! I meant Melchior, not you. Really? Exerting control over someone else's life goes against everything Aizen stands for. We know you were forced to do it against your will. But my spying put everyone in serious danger. That's still a fact. The Bloodwings also knew what we were up to. The Abbey would have figured it out with or without you. What'd you tell them anyway? Um, uh, that Velvet is actually pretty good wife material? And what fishing rods Aizen prefers? And what Miss Mogulu says in her sleep? And how fast Dial's tail regrows? What? That's what you told them? It's done. Pay it no more heed. 
but things must be set aright. Aright? How? Eleanor, I apologize for suspecting you. I'm sorry. Aizen? That's right! I must apologize as well! I'm deeply sorry, Lady Eleanor! Very well. Apologies accepted all around. Are exorcists using armatization aware that it could cost them their lives? I'm sure they are. If I were still with the Abbey, I would likely be using an armatus too. Endangering one's own life in order to save the many? It's the logical choice. But using something that dangerous so frequently in battle is absolutely wrong. The Abbey must be starting to feel the pressure too. Even so, the losses are unacceptably high. That's how badly they want the Therians, and how big a threat we represent. Or it could be that it has nothing to do with us and the real point is to test their new weapon. That can't be! It's all an experiment?! A blade proves its true worth by making it through battle unbroken. Are exorcists all that different? Your logic is sound, but it's still awful. We were able to survive this time, but it won't be much longer until they've perfected the armatization. That's not the only thing we need to worry about where ticking clocks are concerned. Am I wrong? Velvet. It doesn't matter. We kill whoever gets in our way. Finish this quick. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Finish this Hey, is everyone all right? <laughs> Show us your determination! Scout ship setting sail.
First they robbed the Malachim of their will, and now their bodies, too. Makes me sick. But still, it fits their reason. They want strength, and no art can squeeze strength from a Moloch like that one. Here I come! <laughs> one, but I am the victor. Oh, my favorite! Steal my share and I'll hex you!
Sorry to cut you down. So, you all got away. It was all I could do to flee. I have lost face. You don't have a face! Uh, I was so scared! It's okay now, dear. I won't let them cause you any more pain. Medissa was the one who saved us. Thank you. I could never forgive them for involving children. That's all. Kuragane, head to the rear docks. Keep them safe. If you find the Prince and Griffin, take the Von Eltia and escape. As you wish. Rokuro, take the Storm Quell. I made it with the Orichalcum you gave me. You actually did it? I abandoned all desire and forged it with a clear mind. You will find no harder sword in all the world. Storm Quell, made from Orichalcum. I'll use it well, Kurogane. Calcum Blade, Storm Quell! It's the hardest blade the world has ever known. Even to an untrained eye, that sword is obviously something special. Kurogane is a real master! Color me amazed! The God Blade Storm Howl versus the Orichalcum Storm Quell. This will be something to see. Will it end in triumph or will you need to try more oomph? The gods alone know. The gods have nothing to do with it. Skill alone will determine who lives and who dies. Managed to avoid capture, huh, Prince? As did you. You did well to avoid Artorius and his forces. Lord Artorius is here? He is. I overheard some exorcists mention it. Artorius! If you want to die, do it alone. We're saving the Therians before anything else. Besides, we're so close to deciphering the ancient book. I know. We'll escape from the rear docks. Follow me. Watch out, Princey Wincy. You ain't no Therian. If Griffin gets there first, we're leaving you behind. Uh, understood. <laughs> 